Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm out here on this beautiful, beautiful day. Sun is shining, the, it has a breeze. It's blowing the, the chimes and my sun catchers. Today I wanna to share with you another sun catcher uh, tutorial, if you will. This is a whole lot easier than the other one that I uh, made a video of not too long ago. Uh, that one you use pony plastic pony beads and you have to have a baking pan and uh, sh different shapes like cookie cookie cutter type shapes and an oven well this one you don't have to have an oven at all and you don't have to have uh, any baking pans it's super simple really easy and a lot of fun and and they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful so let me show you what you need. You need these little glass beads. These sell for a dollar for one of these uh, packs at Dollar Tree, but they, they also sell them at Walmart and lots of places, but a dollar is pretty good. Now these are all green, but they also have them in blue and they have them in clear. I don't know why they don't have them in other colors, but they just don't. So that's what we're gonna make. Now what you're gonna need is plastic little plastic plate like a little cake plate they sell these in packs I think they're a dozen you can get a dozen for a dollar at Dollar Tree so that's what you need you're gonna need clear glue and I found this at Dollar Tree as well but just because I wanted to see if it worked I tried one with regular glue all Elmer's glue all and it works too and I'll, I'll tell you what the difference is in just a second. So first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna pour some of this, let's see if I can, yeah, clear glue. Whoops, I gotta, gotta, I forgot about that little thingy douche that holds it. This stuff is sticky, I'll tell you that. Okay, we're gonna pour some on here. Let me see if that's good enough. I'm trying to spread it around a little bit. I'm gonna wind up using my finger, I know it okay too. You might want to be a little bit more neater than I am right here. I'm kind of in a hurry to get this spread around. Okay, you just spread it around in the bottom of that little plate. I may have put too much glue on that. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Now I'm going to take some beads. Just, just some beads. And I'm going to start putting them on here doesn't matter the uh, you can make a pattern I suppose if you like do it however you want to I'm not doing on this one I'm not doing any particular order of it just putting them on there hope y'all can see this these beads are really pretty they make a very nice looking uh, sun catcher 
and they're a little bit heavier. So just be aware of that. They're heavier than the one that we, I did in the in the oven because they're the one I did in the oven are those little pony beads that um, that are real lightweight. you can do you can do any order you want okay now just kind of they don't have to all touch. It's all right, too. Okay, y'all see that I've got it on there? Okay, and what you're going to do, this is the hard part. You've got to let this set up for two to three days. And let it totally dry. Okay, and here's one I've already done. And it's totally dry. And we pull it up, grab it on the edge. Let's see if I can do this now. I'm gonna pull it. Okay, and pull it off there. Like that. I wish I could get it in the in the sun so you could. Oh, you can see a little bit better there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now what you do is you find a spot to make a hole. You can use a uh, ice pick. Just use an ice pick. I think I'll put it right here. If it'll go in there. Okay. Take a piece of string. Ribbon, string, yarn. Put that right through there. Put a little bit of glue on that on the uh, on that knot to keep it from coming undone. But right now, just for purpose of showing you, I'm trim it just a tiny bit. I'm gonna put some glue on that knot in a little bit. There it is. There it is. It's clear. See that? Isn't that pretty? It's so shiny. They're heavier than the others, but they're not too heavy that they won't hold up nicely. That's all you do. Now, I also did it with this because I wanted to show you if it would work. You see that this glue dries very crystal clear through here. Well, this one is still drying. It's one I did using the Elmer's glue. And you can see that there are areas where it's drying clear. See it? So it's not totally dry yet. As you can see, it's real cloudy using the regular glue. But it will dry clear see those areas so that's going to be another one when it gets dry and like i said the hardest place the hardest part is waiting <laughs> two to two to three days till it dries now i i did this one two days ago so that's how quickly this one dried i did the elmer's glue two days ago too but it's taken longer to dry than this one did so there it is that makes a beautiful sun catcher to hang in your 
kitchen window, bathroom window, hang outside, hang on your porch. That's very pretty. Really, really pretty. That's what it looks like. I hope you'll try this. It's lots of fun. It's real easy. Your grandkiddos can do it. They would love it. And they can take it home pretty quickly, too. Okay, y'all. Get out there and get your little plastic beads and make you some pretty um, wind catchers. Or sun catchers. I think you'd like them. Okay? All right. Thanks for dropping in with me today for this little craft. I hope you like it. I will see you soon. Hope God is good to you. Bye-bye.